Previously, I uploaded a video on how to form new habits and actually have them stick. But am I a credible, reliable source? Let's be real. Based on my upload history, it doesn't look like I am. And things start looking even worse if you dig into my uploads and actually watch some of them. That's because in one of them, I publicly announced that I would be posting a video on YouTube once a week from then on. So what gives? Stick around to the end of the video. I promise you'll be able to use my story to help you learn how to set and solidify new habits. The thing about making long-term commitments is that if you don't have a system in place to ensure that you keep them, they're likely to unravel at some point. So while I'm proud that I was at least true to my word for almost three months, life eventually hit as I entered a stressful period in my life where I had to figure out my future housing situation. Initially, I tried to put the stress aside and still maintain my weekly uploading schedule, but eventually it got to be too much. So I decided to take a step back from YouTube to focus on my housing search. But this proved to be a double-edged sword because while it did relieve some of the stress I was feeling, it also meant that all the momentum I had built by consistently posting once a week for almost three months came to a screeching halt. And so even after I figured out my future housing situation, I didn't immediately get back to posting on YouTube. At first, I told myself that this was actually a good thing and that it fell in line with everything I had talked about in my previous videos. By taking some time to reflect on my YouTube journey so far, to see what was working and what wasn't, and to visualize how I saw things going forward, I was putting into practice some of the recommendations I had given in my previous videos. During this break, I thought about the community that I want to attract, and I worked on the branding, look, and message that I need to be projecting in order to do so. I also met with my mentor, and as a result, as I reflected on one of the questions she asked me, finally figured out how all my ideas and content are related. And so the motto for Unbound Creation was born, an invitation to slow down. Ultimately, I was choosing to see this break as a time where I was electing to slow down in order to really figure out my intention behind doing YouTube and my deeper purpose. True to that mission, I decided that I no longer wanted to stick to a strict once weekly posting schedule. Instead, I decided to prioritize the quality of my videos, and as a means to do so, to improve my editing, animation, and motion design skills, and improve my editing style and voice. And I think that was truly the right move to do. But eventually, four months had passed, and I still hadn't, hadn't published a long-form video. That's the moment when I realized that something else was preventing me from getting back into YouTube. My fear had returned. I kept telling myself that I had been away for too long and even though my audience isn't large by any measure, <laughs> it felt like any video I posted now would be seen as a discontinuity from all my previous videos. Besides, in the time that I was thinking about my look and branding, I also started looking towards some of the YouTubers I admire most and taking mental notes on their presentation, style, editing, and so on. But what first started as an innocent search for inspiration pretty soon became a damaging practice in self-comparison. And I wasn't comparing myself to just anyone either. I was comparing myself to people who have been in the game for years and of course have something to show for it. But my brain annoyingly skipped over that part, and I started to see my videos and presentation style as too slow, visually uninspired, boring even. So how did I get out of it? I started small. I started to compile a list of resources for free assets like royalty-free pictures, videos, and sound effects. I started looking up After Effects tutorials on YouTube and to create different templates for the types of content I plan to be making. I organized my digital space and in doing so was introduced to Notion, video not sponsored. <laughs> I backed up all my files and cleared up all my drives. I had a breakthrough or two on how to repurpose my horizontal videos into vertical videos for shorts and IG reels. 
and I finally velcroed my external hard drive to my laptop. This all made me feel like an actual YouTuber. It made me feel organized and well prepared because I now was organized and well prepared. And now that everything was laid out in front of me, not only did my vision for the future of Unbound Creation and this channel become clearer, but the path for how to get there became a whole lot clearer too. So this tells us a few things. Number one, it's good to slow down, but always be conscientious of whether you're slowing down out of self-compassion or fear. Number two, you're at insert your dream career here as soon as you say you are and start acting like it. Number three, don't compare yourself to others especially to people who are in completely different positions than you are, whether that be in terms of resources, connections, experience, knowledge, skill level, whatever. Number four, build momentum by doing little things related to your goal. And on a related note, have a system and a structure to help you achieve. It. Number five, know where you're going, but don't overly focus on the outcome. Instead, as always, focus on the journey. So hopefully the speed bumps I experienced along my journey can help accelerate yours, or at the very least, make it as smooth as possible. This video is part of a habit forming series, so if you enjoyed it, then please check out a bit the playlist I made of related videos. I'll link it here and in the description below. Also, before you do that, leave a comment down below letting me know what you do to get back on track whenever you fall off the gear habit. I would love to learn from you guys, so I really look forward to reading what you have to say. But as for right now, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.